Welcome to Six Flags St. Louis. I'm here for Daredevil Days. Uh, it's, uh, what time is it? A little bit past nine, and shortly we're going to be getting some ERT on Evil Knievel and do a walk back of that ride. Six Flags St. Louis and poster 255 will be Evil Knievel. It's a little bit after 10 o'clock and we are now doing the Evil Knievel walk back. I'm walking up the queue for Coaster 256, Mr. Freeze. I'm pleased to report that they removed the shoulder restraints from Mr. Freeze here at St. Louis too. Uh, it does look like the parabola is a little bit different. Uh, I seem to recall it being more smooth and gradual at Texas, but it might be in my imagination. I'll ask Dave Lipnicki. He would know. So Tony Hawk was one of those spinning rides. Uh, I got the credit. I don't think I'll be riding it again, especially not in the heat. And the other thing I noticed at this park is um, they're really big about not letting you store items on the loading platform. So it looks like I'll be spending money on the uh, coin lockers here, a dollar a pop. Coaster 258 was the River King Mine Train, uh, an old Arrow Mine Train. <laughs> and Coaster 259 will be Ninja. Does that sound about right? Yeah, I took the tickets of Oklahoma, actually. Oh. Okay, take two. Okay, Mac and I survived riding Ninja. Uh, it's one of those mega loopers from the 80s. I thought it was an arrow, but Mac says it might be a Vacoma. Either way, it's a head-banging ride, and uh, with this heat, I don't think I'll be riding it again. But I got the credit. Well, the Batman line was too long and we've got another coaster walk back in half an hour so uh, I'll come back here later this evening and hopefully the line will be shorter then. And this is going to be coaster 260 Screaming Eagle. And raise your hand.
It's 12.30 and we're now uh, starting our walk back behind the boss and the screaming eagle. It is 8.20 and I'm in line again to ride Batman. This will be my 261st coaster. So I survived the Batman. I understand this is uh, inverted, so instead of going left at the top of the first hill like the one at Six Flags Over Texas, it turns to the right. Uh, my vivid memory of this one is apparently it went over or near a restaurant because I can smell food. So uh, a year from now, I won't have any idea how this is in relation to the other Batmans, but I'll remember it went by a restaurant. A little bit before 10 o'clock and I'm about to ride coaster 262 the boss which sadly will be my last new roller coaster of this trip and tomorrow I'll be heading back home so this is kind of weird coaster advertising for mayonnaise so I've ridden the boss and uh, I survived despite the Gerslauer trains and despite that uh, Pretty rough helix towards the end. It was a decent ride. It's about 10.45 and I just got finished riding the boss again. Uh, real cool ride at night. They turned the lights out for us. Uh, you could see bats flitting around as we went up the lift hill. And during the whole ride, you could see lightning in the background. Uh, unfortunately, that lightning has caused them to shut the ride down temporarily. So I hope that uh, we'll get it running back up again soon. So it's a little bit after 11 o'clock and I'm leaving Six Flags St. Louis. Uh, Daredevil Days is over. CoasterCon is over. And uh, it's kind of sad to have to say goodbye to some of my friends that I won't see again until next summer. But I had some really good times uh, and I'm looking forward to Kennywood next year. Uh, in the meantime, I'm looking forward to going home tomorrow because frankly, I miss my cats. So anyways, I'm signing off for now. Good night.